we're about to take a look at five of the most deadly war reports in all of Rise of Kingdoms history. What's going on guys, it's Omniarch, cheers. Normally I crack open a cold one with you guys, but today I was just feeling a second cup of coffee. I don't know why it's 4 PM. I don't even need it. Now, before we begin, I want to talk a little bit about how I got these war reports here for this video. Of course, I don't know of any database that just keeps track of the most deadly war reports in rise of kingdoms. If somebody's working on that database, please send it to me in discord link is down below. So the way that I went about getting the information for this video is I went through a bunch of rise of kingdoms discords that I'm currently a part of, and I just scrolled through all the war reports reports that people were sending in those discords and I picked out five that had the largest power loss on a single side and guys the top two reports that I'm going to share in this video are actually insane but please if you have even more deadly and even more impressive war reports than this and I'm sure that they exist send them to me on discord and maybe if you guys enjoy this video we can make a part two with that being said the way that I'll know you want a part two is if you drop a thumbs up on this video and of course subscribe to the channel about 8% of you guys are not subscribed so with all that out of the way let's take a look at war report number five that's right ladies and gentlemen we're starting this list off with an absolute bang because uncle iroh's garrison loses almost a hundred million total power however fates from the alliance fn has an attila takeda that absolutely shreds and honestly this is an overwhelming amount of loss for both sides now a couple things to keep in mind here artemisia does have a fan-shaped aoe so we don't see the full picture with just this screenshot alone there's a good chance that there were some armies standing near that flag and uncle iroh got a ton of value out of hitting them with the aoe from artemisia now it's also worth noting that when it comes to super long rallies like these past fights that we see here in rise of kingdoms these rallies take so so long and oftentimes there's multiple garrison captains in that pass at any given time and so i can guarantee you that this artemisia Wu from uncle iroh was not the only garrison captain that was defending against this attila takeda the entire time now you can see this is dated 512 now i'm assuming that's may of last year because you know you don't see a yss or theodora or a zenobia and of course you see they're rallying with an attila takeda and the troop capacity here is two million whereas in season of conquest you can have a higher troop capacity so a little bit of an older report here but uncle iroh we see they have over 1.7 million healed troops 8.7 million dead troops 8.1 million severely wounded 49 million slightly wounded units here with 11 and a half million units remaining absolutely insane and of course the attila takeda by fate here has 1.6 million healing absolutely nuts that healing on takeda 6.2 million dead 6 million severely wounded 54 million slightly wounded units and only 1.7 million units remaining absolutely insane now guys let's take a look at number four on our list which is a zhang yu chandragupta versus is a Zenobia Isun Sin. I don't know if I pronounced XY correctly, so roast me in the comments. <laughs> So rally leader Tanglan of Alliance SLN hitting the pass of Camel Toad Ninja from Alliance A89. We push even closer to that 100 million power loss. And what's even more incredible is that this was literally last month, right? We have Zhang Yu, we have Zenobia. This just goes to show you the true power of Zhang Yu Chandragupta, an absolutely devastating rally combo. A much larger troop capacity here than the previous battle report. We have 5.6 million dead units on the rally side, 5.5 5 million severely wounded units 72 million slightly wounded with 2.5 million remaining and on Zenobia's side we have 2.8 million healed 6.5 million dead 6.3 million severely wounded and almost 90 million slightly wounded units with about 2 million units remaining guys I do not think this is the last time you're gonna see a Zhang Yu Chandragupta rally of this caliber the amount of damage being put out by this combination is absolutely incredible I know both Chiskel and Dragothian just put out videos talking about Zhang you and how incredible he is and yeah when you look at reports like this it's obvious why war report number three breaks that 100 million power loss by an absolutely massive margin now guys i do apologize this screenshot is very low quality and very low resolution but here we can see a guan yu herald combination from rally lead cow cow from alliance rru and on the defending side we have a theodora yss with garrison captain 
Toliant from Alliance 229. I do apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Now you can see this was from January of this year. So the fact that there's not a Zenobia here tells me that this may be a mixed troop garrison, or they were just flipping around garrison captains. And Theo YSS just happened to be the first one that shows up on the report. But Guan Yu Herald doing absolute damage here. Absolutely insane. You see the attackers lose 67.4 million power with 4.6 million dead units, 4.5 million severely wounded, 59 and a half million million slightly wounded units with 2.8 million remaining and on the defense side we see 2.5 million healed over 11 million dead units 10 million severely wounded 143 million slightly wounded units with just under 800,000 units remaining to put this in perspective it's estimated that around 10 million soldiers died in world war one and here you see about 15 million deaths in this single rally in rise of kingdoms and that's for a single pass rally it's crazy but it's not quite as crazy as battle report number two. Oh my god here we see rally leader hulk of alliance 114k he's got a red Ramses Nebu attacking the pass that is occupied by Khan of Alliance S 79's Zenobia YSS. The rally lost over 217 million power, whereas the defenders lost 331.7 million. And guys, keep in mind, if this is number two, what is number one? So I tried to reach out to Hulk here to get some more information about this rally. And I couldn't, I, I just couldn't find him in his kingdom. I don't know if he changed his name or whatever the case is. I reached out to Khan who did kindly respond to me but he did let me know that uh, he was actually afk at this time he said his garrison march got kicked out within like the first five minutes because he wasn't online but he did let me know that there were five different garrison captains that they were rotating through during this rally guys i can't even imagine how long it would take to go through a rally like this like this is absolutely crazy now of course these rallies aren't as slow as they used to be you know a year or two ago we have obviously the higher troop capacity we have the season of conquest technology so all that leads to increased damage which means that these rallies go a little bit faster but still like this is an insane amount of power loss so the Ramses Nebu 1.6 million healed 14 million dead units 13 million severely wounded 166 million slightly wounded units with 2.3 million remaining and the defenders with 6 million units healed 27 million units dead 25 million units severely wounded and almost 300 million slightly wounded units with 2 million remaining that is absolutely insanity guys if you know more about this report i would love to hear it in the comment section below or send it to me over on discord i really wish i had these reports so i could sort of see how many t4s versus how many t5 units are being lost here but the combined death toll on both sides here is more than the entire mongolian conquest i literally can't even imagine how much these troops would be worth in dollars now we're going to take a look at number one here in just a second and i just want to preface that the report you're looking at i was going to put as number one right because technically it has the most single-sided deaths but battle report one actually has a higher troop power loss by a single side which means they probably just had more t5 units than this defense here but with all that out of the way let's take a look at battle report number one another lower quality image here we see the defender rock lee with the uh Oz Osman primary, nothing secondary. Now, obviously, obviously that was not their garrison. You guys got to realize when you have battle reports that are this absolutely massive, the game just starts to glitch and freak out. Like it just, it's so much data that it has to compile into a single report. And sometimes it just, it just gets it wrong. So I actually don't know who the real garrison captain was of this pass. Of course, please, if you have information on this report, let me know in the comment section below. But the attacker over here, Gaius, Ludacris from Alliance 1008 with his Attila Takeda. Absolutely devastating absolutely devastating rally here the defenders losing 336 million power the attackers losing 205 million power the defenders with 4.3 million healed 27 million deaths 25.6 million severely wounded 177 slightly wounded units and 785,000 remaining and that Attila Takeda rally man look at those heals look at those heals 3.8 million healed 14.6 million dead 13.7 million severely 
severely wounded 127 million slightly wounded units with 2.5 million remaining now you can see here the troops on the defender side is not completely full so again i don't know what's going on with this report but this was the highest power loss on a single side that i could find of all the discords that i spent my time scrolling through to put this report into perspective this report's combined deaths was almost as much as the entire global deaths of the spanish flu of 1918. you could probably buy a car with the amount of money that was spent on this rally alone anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it again it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it with that being said if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video if you know more information about any of these rallies or if you have some rallies that are even more impressive than these make sure you let me know in the comments section below and send them to me over on my discord of course all my social media links including my discord instagram twitter facebook all that stuff is always in the description below so make sure you follow me over there and if you want to support the channel absolutely for free you can download rise of kingdoms for your pc using a program called blue stacks link is also in the description it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms i've been using the program for years and i just love to see the game on a big screen with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni archive we'll talk to you guys again soon peace